beside me In fact, I'm yearning for that But the only time that you'll face me Is when you're turning your back on a mean one We can go heat for heat, son Ask Wolfwood You don't wanna cross machine gun What's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donald Bradley back at y'all another video. Today we are on Huncho's channel. Don't think we've been over here, but it's another pull up review. You feel me? So we gotta check it out. Eden's pull up game is top two, and it's not two. As the homie said, it's on Uno status. You know what I'm saying? Eden from uh, Attack on Titan. Y'all know the, the 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 main the main character antagonist with the the protect that guy um <laughs> uh so i can only imagine what man's got to say about him because yeah he, he definitely has some crucial work to be talked about so be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on all that there social media we in here without any further ado. in three two one click this man's pull up game is top two and off rip i'm gonna just tell y'all is not two no ifs ands or buts about it are you with your mama and just to be clear i'm talking about argue with your mama <laughs> hold on Aaron yeager <laughs> Y'all can't tell me that's not fun to say. But nah, the way Aaron pulled up on these boys and Marley should be in teaching material around the country is the textbook definition of sliding. Cause he slid on some devious timing. It wasn't no words, it wasn't no conversations. The second his op setter was up and they wanted smoke, Aaron was just like, I right, say less. Yeah. Stood on that shit immediately say and started less. wrecking havoc. Y'all boys, I'm not even finna waste no time. I've been wanting to cover Attack on Titan for a minute, so let's get straight into it. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty inside my DNA. Nothing said. Oh, my man got the intro on deck. All right, so All like right. I said, Aaron's pull up on Marley should be classified as the textbook definition of sliding on the ops. This man executed this shit so perfectly. So let me break it down for y'all. See, the first area some of y'all boys fail at when trying to slide on the ops is the planning phase. Like some of y'all skip this entirely. As soon as they make you mad, y'all boys want to pull up and get active. But nah, y'all got to let that hate. Fester. Give that anger some time <laughs> to marinate in your system. Let it really. That anger season. Y'all need let that marinate. You know what I'm saying? You need to feel that. You know what I'm saying? You need to let it get deep, deep down in the emotions. You know what I'm saying? So that whatever you come up with could be straight deep, devious. You feel me? Grind your gears. And think about what you're trying to do. Because unless you're some kind of John Wick, James Bond, 007 type of nigga, you probably going to fail. So with Aaron, right? His hate been building up ever since he was a little kid and seen his mom get turned into the main course of a human mukbang by the Titans. So fast forward, Aaron then leveled up, got his powers, recognized Marley was the enemy, and got to plotting. He ain't tell nobody what he was finna do either. He took that Dr. Umar advice to heart. I have plans that I cannot share with you right now because the haters will sabotage me. So he said, fuck it. The ops too scared to pull up the parody all right i got something for that ass and went and infiltrated marley but nah, nah this one no regular sneaking to the it's country like you won't come to me it's cool bro i like delivery but i ain't opposed to walk in you feel me hey she type of deal right he was dedicated to the cause so aaron snuck into marley by posing as an injured soldier from the battle at fort slava but to do this so it wouldn't look fake this nigga had to gouge out one of his eyes and cut off his own leg oh no aaron is built different see i like to think i got that dog in me but if you tell me i gotta do something like that nah you got it gang I'm well you got it you got it you know what i'm saying if you knew that you could grow them back whenever you wanted you know what i'm saying so <laughs> good and not only did he do this but this master manipulator was able to track down falco become cool with the little nigga and now aaron got dog working as a double agent without him even knowing sending out letters that'll ultimately end up getting a whole lot of his boys packed man what so as a final errand, on the day of the festival, Aaron sends Falco to go track down Rhina because they're old friends. Oh, yeah. Sorry. This part where Aaron just didn't give off. Bruh, homie transformed in the middle of the sh Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to catch Talk up with him it. for a little bit. Talk Falco ends it. up leading Reiner down these steps to a candlelit room. And as Reiner gets to the bottom of the stairs, he hears, It's been four years. Like, what's now good, sit nigga? your ass down. Yeah, you remember me or what? You forgot? You thought shit was sweet? You think I wasn't going to come back for that get back, homie? You thought the block wasn't about to be spun? You over here mad comfortable up in your own people's spot. You feel me? You came over to my hood and caused some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You, you like the infiltrate game. You know what I'm saying? You like these games, my nigga, you know? So let's play. Sit your ass down. 
And this is when we shift into phase two of sliding on the ops, execution. Y'all, this man Reiner is shaking his shoes. He don't know what to do, and Falco just standing there confused. Cause little did he know he brought the world's biggest menace to society and an absolute mega terrorist right to their front doorstep. Hey, quick sidebar. I know at this point it's been well established that by the end of the series that Aaron turned into a whole anti-hero and it's a genocidal maniac, but don't get it twisted. I'm still rocking with that nigga. I'm in too deep not to be a Jaegerist. Sick of dumb. <laughs> that man said I got this on lock. Y'all ain't messing with me. Says I yo. <laughs> my fault. Hey, that's still a hit to this oh, day. God. But nah. Anyways, I'm Aaron sorry, was just bro, like, I ain't got shit on J JJK's intro, bro. <laughs> Reiner, it's been a while. I was excited to see you, so I grabbed us some really good seats right below the stage. And Aaron shows Reiner he got that weight on him, and I ain't talking mm -hmm. about a gym. Said we can get this shit popping right now if you want to, but I don't said, think the innocent civilians in the apartments above us will like that very much. I didn't give off about no civilians, bro. Y'all know what happened during this conversation. Quit playing. <laughs> and at this point, taking account of the safety of Falco and the civilians, Rhino ain't got no choice but to be Aaron's lapdog for the time being, so he takes a seat. So, uh, Aaron, why come here? It's it's not safe. What you mean, why come here, nigga? You came to my hood, you feel me? Got cozy, you know what I'm saying? Made friends, you know what I mean? Connections and shit. And... Just started killing niggas, you know what I'm saying? I, to be real with you, nigga, I look jealous. I want to see what that felt like, you know what I'm saying? Look like you got joy out of that shit, my nigga. You feel me? So I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, about, I'm in your playbook. You feel me? Like, tell me, do you remember what you and Bertolt did about nine years ago? That what? part. N nine years ago. That was when we. Wait. What do you plan to do? The exact same thing you did. And hearing this, that part. Reiner realized that everybody in the immediate vicinity was about to get boomed. Like, mm -hmm. I kid you not. Look at Aaron's face. He bout that smoke. So they that continue. Boy gave, have him on deadpan stare just letting. He letting this nigga Reiner, right? He lets, he just, he letting that marinate. He letting the fear marinate. You know what I'm saying? He want that man to think about everything that's about to happen. Every, I want you to think about it in retrospect while remembering what you did and know there's going to be something like that. You know what I'm saying? Know that this, you know, this is this what's happening. You know, we're going to sit here and I want you to look at me and I want you to remember this moment right before it happened and know that you couldn't do shit, nigga. <laughs> Having this conversation while Willie Tiber is giving his speech and it's pretty much Aaron just going like, You are a worthless bitch ass nigga. Your life literally is as valuable as a summer end. You serve no purpose in life. So Reiner just starts pleading with them. Aaron, please. M my family's up there. Please, big bro. Don't do this. I'm begging you. Like, I'll do anything, big. That nigga said family. Yo, family up there. Ooh, nigga, that make this super duper uber sweet. What you mean? You remember my mom's, right? You remember my mom's. Yeah, you remember my mom's. Oh, no, you didn't. You didn't even see it. You ain't even. Hey, bro, that's a coincidence. I don't know your fucking family neither because I thought it was us. But you know what I'm saying? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? We going to see what's up with the fam. You feel me? Hey. <laughs> bro, Aaron, please. Just, just leave my people out of this. Leave your people? Nah, big nah, bro, bro is crazy. Nah, man. Aaron nah, ain't give family. a fuck, though. He just hit Rhino with the... Oh, none man. of that. And this oh, is when Falco man. realized what he did, and he couldn't bear the thought. Good looking, little nigga. I couldn't have did this without you. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. So Reiner's on the ground, literally begging, trying to atone for all his sins. Aaron is just looking down on him and reaches out his hand. Like Get up, it. Reiner. You know, after all this time, I've realized something. You and me, we're the same. <laughs> really? Psych! So this motherfucker just transforms with no remorse. Packs uh -oh. everybody in the building. Literally sent these boys on a first class flight to go see Juice World perform in person. So mm. off rip, blood body count. The Juice World concerts, the Michael Jackson concerts, the Kobe games. People be crazy with these quotables, bro. Already sitting at 100 plus. He shot through the ground the second Willie finished giving his speech. And y'all, everybody in the crowd is terrified. So Aaron snatches Willie and immediately goes to eat him because Aaron thinks that he's the wielder of the Warhammer Titan. And this nigga didn't even take a bite out of him. He just swallowed him whole. Out. You can even see the little <laughs> as he goes down. <laughs> oh, no. So Aaron slowly turns around to reveal himself to the crowd and... Uh, 
just look at this shot right here. This is when Aaron officially hit the point of no return and a true demon was born. Mm -hmm. He was like, nah, I'm not done yet. And peeped all these military officials. This, fit. that man looked at the grandstand. I'll, I'll let him tell it real quick. They're in the stands. So Aaron straight blitz they cool. ass and body slammed into these niggas like he was a WWE wrestler. Bro, that part. That part. Bro, S-M-O-K-E. He bout that. That nigga body slammed the stands. Y'all realize what he that boy said? I'ma just nah, just, <laughs> he ain't give a heck. It's like nah, we. He said we hear about body bags, bro. We hear about straight casualties. You know what I'm saying? This is red rum all the way. We ain't playing no games here. You thought I was playing? Not only that, not only that. This man was making moves which forced his people. To start dropping bodies. They wasn't even trying to be on that timing originally. But because Adam was there and they knew that he needed backup, they was like, God damn it. <laughs> they had to go handle that shit, but oh, look at this dude right here. He just accepted his fate. OG said he ain't got no fight left in him. <laughs> Man's really just control or deleted his whole life because he knew he was finna get booted from the server. And it's nothing but straight chaos going on down there with the civilians running around terrified. Shit is really treacherous. So Gabi woke up to see Sophia got turned into Obito 2.0 while Aaron is still just delivering haymakers. Then Udo dumbass gonna try to get up and go save Sophia from under the rock. Like, bro, give it up. She is not she finna gone, let you bro. hit, gang. At she this gone. point, she probably looking like a BBL under the rock. Straight jelly. And in the process wow. of doing this, Udo gets trampled like an Astro World victim. I beg your pardon? What do you mean by that? You know what? Let me not finish that joke. Mm -mm. Uh, so Udo ends up getting that Mufasa <laughs> treatment and gets trampled, so now we out here twinning them with Plankton. So now it's revealed that the maid was the actual wielder of the Warhammer Titan, and now she goes to transform so she can box with Eren. But Eren was just like, stupid, I'm not going to let you get the chance. And straight up rocks her ass with a blocker. Yo, I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all got to get with it with these, you know, Ed and he own business, you know what I'm saying? Android 17 own business. They ain't going to wait for these over-dramatized ass transformations and extra shit, nigga. We finna knock you out in the middle of that. I don't know what you thought this was, bro. You are not the cinematic experience of the evening. I'm going to whoop your ass in the middle of the credits. Like, what do you mean, bro? You're not going to get to finish the film. Like... <laughs> You got a whole, like, you have, like, you got, the new transformations is all flesh and bone, and you got to do the whole thing, bro. To be honest, I just started stepping on your ass the minute I seen light, you feel me? Like, <laughs> Transformation. Nah. This man literally broke the number one rule in anime. Then he reinforced his fist and stun locked her in a devious combo to the Warhammer literally spawned the Washington Monument to make Aaron back up. So before all this even went on, Aaron had some of his boys on the island take away the other Titan wielders, so Porco and Peek ended up getting trapped. Damn, Peek. That soldier really got us with this Tom and Jerry ass trap. We're cooked. Nah, we'll be all right. Huh? Peak. No, we we're literally it. trapped down here in this cramped well, and neither one of us can use our Titan without killing each other. How do you expect us to get out of here? Let's just say I know a nigga. No a new oh, my my nigga. <laughs> So back to the fight, Aaron's struggling because the Warhammer is a literal cheat code with his hardening abilities, combined with the fact that he's getting jumped by the military too. They keep boxing for a little bit, but then the Warhammer summons Mjolnir out of thin air, Mjolnir. cocks back, and then slices this man's arms off. So Aaron gets out of his Titan looking like, Light work, no reaction. Usurper, Aaron Yeager. Before you die, you may owe your final words. Mikasa, it's time. Huh? Where the fuck my blunt? Where the fuck my cut? Where the fuck my reef? Yo, the scouts put up on some wicked timing. Equip oh with that new Call of Duty movement. Out here straight blicking niggas. And they body count is rising quicker than an OnlyFans thought. Me pulled up on Aaron. rising quicker than an OnlyFans thought. Somebody stopped this man from saying words. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and it was like, Aaron, do you realize what you've done? You've killed civilians, children, innocent people. There's said, no taking this back. That's your point. Don't you care? <laughs> Say something. That nigga said, bitch, this is war. <laughs> <laughs> Mikasa, you look like a man. Oh. But nah, as Aaron and Mikasa are having this conversation, they realize the Warhammer isn't dying even though they destroyed its nape twice. And while Mikasa is running the ones, Aaron notices that the Warhammer's actual body is hidden underground in this crystal. So Aaron grabs the crystal and goes to take a bite out that motherfucker, but little did he know, Surprise, motherfucker! The Jaw Titan popped up right behind him with them big ass chompers ready to take a bite out of Aaron's neck. And it looked like Aaron cooked and he finna lose the founding Titan. But wait, what's that? It's a bird! It's a plane! Wait, no! It's Levi motherfucking Ackerman! Y'all know what time it is. 
slice that nigga's jaw this opportunity up. and wasted no time. Slammed the jaw titan against this building and grabbed him by the hair. But Porco was not trying to fuck with Levi, so he tried. Use that. Sorry, I'm going to spoil it for y'all because I know he about to go over it. Use that nigga as a straight nutcracker, boy. Like, what? Are you for real? He turned that mom he what he turned him into a literal tool. A literal tool. Tried to dip, but Aaron and the scouts was running zone coverage on his ass. Zone Had him coverage. trapped in the cover three spot. The scouts was coming uh. in for the finish and blow on them, but before they could, peeking them came to the rescue with the very last second. And when I say she came with reinforcements, she came with reinforcements. Cause y'all tell me why the beast titan pulled up to that motherfucker too. So now it's four titans in the field. Soon as he popped up, Levi's senses got the tingling. Mm -hmm. I should have known he'd be here. I could smell it. Like, did not pack you up before already? That's gotta be racist. There's no way. So Aaron tries taking a bite out of the Warhammer crystal, but ends up looking like Krishan Rock instead. <laughs> then Levi straight up. Yo, that's disrespectful. Yo, she was a baddie, bro. Juice World turned her out. I swear to God. All right. Tries taking Not a bite. Juice World. What the fuck am I talking about? Sorry, I'm in blue face. I, I never disrespect motherfuckers like that again. <laughs> Out of the Warhammer Crystal, but ends up looking like Krishan Rock instead. Mm. Then Levi straight up one pump Z, slice and dice this nigga, turning him into a filet mignon. And while this is happening, the scouts run a blitz on peeking them boys. Was on their head top. Sasha started off the combo with this 360 no scope to pack up dude in the machine gun. And then they boomed the rest of these niggas with thunder spears, throwing straight dots. Like where have these niggas been at for the past year? The Jets uh. needed a quarterback all season they were stuck with wow. zach wilson and tim boyle and the scouts out here just fucking around they playing against the <laughs> wrong titans so marley was getting desperate with peak and zeke out the way so the jaw titan just got to button mash and spamming all kind of attacks at aaron but aaron peeped that the jaws last attack was able to scratch the crystal so he was like yeah oh, i need that so the I jaw goes that. to attack mikasa but she slices off his feet so he can't move and he lands directly in front of aaron i like you and i want you <laughs> Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is y'all. Really look, niggas be wildin'. So this ah! complete psychopath, Aaron, stuffs the crystal into the jaw titan's mouth, then proceeds to use this nigga as a human nutcracker that so he part. can get the power of the Warhammer Titan for himself. Literally pop this nigga like a chug jug. Yeah, nah. This definitely elevated Aaron to the level of Hall of Fame school threat. So after seeing the Warhammer get school, eight wow. and that Porco's on the menu next, Gabi just screams out for Reiner to come save him and i'm not gonna lie me personally i wouldn't be putting my hopes and dreams on the shoulders of the ceo getting put on his ass that but part. Hey, go off but what Homie i will do for you real quick is get on my knees pause and pray to the sweet lord jesus that your iq will increase your brain has to be smooth if you think this is gonna work so reiner pulls up with the armor titan and i'm already hit this man trying to look tough but you know he's shaking in his shoes on the inside i know just the thought of this fight got him sick to his stomach like he just finished eating some arby's he mm. getting them insane flashbacks and aaron putting them six feet deep like Insanity. he was trying to avoid covid or something so these boys get to squabble. Boy, six feet deep, like he was trying to avoid COVID because it's six feet social distance. That's a bar, nigga. Rap. Come on out. <laughs> And off rip, Aaron weaves Reiner's Weed. punch and then chin checks his ass to the tum bucket. Cause after that punch, if this the only place blood gonna be able to eat, gonna be drinking through a straw for three months at least. His jaw is loose. You shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> One punch from Aaron sent this nigga Reiner straight to the gulag and right into a Call of Duty collab. They really had my boy on some John Morant timing, and I find that hilarious. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if bro pulled up with the blick to their next fight, because at some point, you got to realize boxing is not for you, my boy. I just watched this clip on some shit, because this was this was pure disrespect. This clip you showing right here, this nigga is all about disrespect. This man, I'd have just I'd have said, you know what, I don't even want to fight no more. This is stupid. <laughs> be a whole four seasons in, and Aaron been fucking his ass up this whole time like how Patrick was doing Spongebob and Eels and Escalators. Bro had to have been cheating. So Aaron skates off to the ship with Mikasa, leaving Reiner and them on the ground laid out like a first day of school fit. Damn. I just, I just got, got cooked. cooked. And yo, now it's time to go over the third and final phase of a successful pull-up, the evaluation. I'm gonna do this a little backwards and give y'all Aaron's grade first, because there's no doubt in my mind that this was a certified s rank Black Air Force Activity Hall of Fame Menace to Society inducing pull-up. This man yeah. easily earned an S++. That this part. nigga Aaron got, got in the field and put up that the- got Devil May Cry style points, bro. Let's go. Opposite of Tony Snell numbers, a stat sheet stuffer couldn't have been more perfectly executed. He pulled up on the ops, left a blocking in shambles while suffering minimal casualties minus sasha because on me i'm still sad to this day how that went down hey real quick if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like hit that sub button for me and turn on po um yeah i'll see y'all next time hey, yo, hey.
That was dope. We watched that dope here. Straight facts. My man's was cooking. Yeah, we probably gonna have to see what's up over here on this channel too. He do good ones. He do good ones. I like his I like his jokes. But yeah, nah, he was speaking straight facts, man. And it came in with straight, pure S plus plus gray pull up on a nigga faction. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just what that was. You know what I mean? And he was right. And it had time to let his marinate. You know what I'm saying? And especially when he found out that it was people that was supposed to be homies who did that. And he was like, oh, no, nah, see, we need that get back. And not only do we need that get back, we need that get back copy paste. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to get get back when somebody just do something to you so you'll do something to them. It's another thing entirely when you get that copy paste get back where you get to get them back the same way they got you back. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Eden did. He went up in the homie us, homie spot, acted like he was an ally to them, and then she Got the snapping. You feel me? It is what it was. That's good shit. That's the take. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that there social media. And I'll catch y'all next one, fam. Peace.